ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this evening to tonight's live stream broadcast. Now, as you can probably see behind me, uh, for those of you that were here that last week, this is what we did. So it's all dry, waiting to go around and spray him. There we go, and all its black, white and gold awesomeness and wonder. How cool is that? So are you ready for tonight's live stream then, ladies and gents? I think so. So I've probably got no time at all in which to rush off, get changed, and be back in the pod in as few seconds as possible. Are we ready? Here we go. <laughs> Yay! How quick was that for a change, ladies Yay! and gentlemen? <laughs> what do you think? Do we like that? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh. Right, good evening my lovely friends. Without further ado, we'll do some hellos and all that in just a second. We're going to go straight to the intro. See you in 25 seconds. lovely friends how are we all doing tonight i hope you're keeping well uh, <clears throat> i'm just firing the chat up we've had a few technical uh, things to overcome this evening but uh, my fabulous colleague has done the most amazing job as ever in fact i think you should give himself a round of applause <sighs> excellent so thank you ad he's uh, literally saved the day with the uh, with a, a little segue about moving everything, uh, switching everything together. Okay, right, so, hope we are doing okay, my lovely friends. As you can see behind me, and as you probably have seen on the thumbnail image on the video, we're going to be doing the big star this week. I've never attempted anything like this before, so I've no idea how it's going to go. Yes, I do. It's going to go brilliantly, because that's what we do. <laughs> Welcome one and all. Now I'm just, uh, we're just getting the, well, the internet's a bit slow here, but that's fine. We're just loading all the chat up. So we'll come back to the painting in a second. Most importantly, my very dear friends, let's have some hellos. Let's see where everybody is. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Funny Fox is here. Zane Taylor is here. Uh, Ten is here. Sculptor 210 is here. Fantastic. Hello. Oliver Jones from Bailey's. Hello. Can I introduce you to, uh, to Ollie? Um, he is from Bailey's Paints, so we're giving them a shout out this evening. Um, the wonderful paint suppliers. Now let's just, just before we carry on, to so our beloved Bailey's. Um, so Ollie is uh, from uh, that company, and we're just scanning now all the paints on the shelf. So for those of you who are very familiar with what we do here, you know, we've seen the paints all around and that's what we use so welcome to you ollie it's very nice to see you here richard wills is here uh devander studios and the reader is here Anz hansenar is here from the netherlands green hope is here derek austin is here gaz rogers in here for gaz rogers from welsh paul hello gaz how nice to see you okay so we got uh, paul ambler kelly kerry shocker uh, we've got abstract impressions karen hi from chicago hello karen how are you how are you doing uh, Terry Staniford is here from Yarn Hill, Oregon. How you doing? Bob's M. L. Hayes is here. Memphis, Tennessee. Hello. Third Eye Open is here. Yes, we are both well. Thank you very much. Ian Holmes is here. Henry the Artist 78 is here. Uh, Toots Tom Harsky is here from Hermitage. Uh, oh, PA. Where's PA on? Is that Philadelphia? Philadelphia, PA. I think it is, isn't it? You'll have to correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. I'm sorry, my geography is terrible. Pennsylvania? Aidy's just going to check. <laughs> That's a good start, isn't it? Shannon Collins is here. Katie Herring is here. And, uh, okay, Oliver says, yes. Yeah, Ollie says, thanks for the shout out. You're very welcome. Swamp Yankee Guitars is here. Is Pennsylvania, thanks. Uh, yeah, in my ears. Uh, <clears throat> uh, great. So we're all just saying hello to each other. Fantastic. If I have 
missed you for any reason, and I do apologise. We'll get to some comments in a very short while. Oh, oh Jack Nelson is here. Yeah, Pencil sorry, Pennsylvania. Uh, uh, although yours says Pennsylvania. I've never been to Pennsylvania before, but hey, I, I would love to come see you sometime. I'm, I'm joking. I can't help that. Okay. Uh, oh, dude, yes, there we go. Uh, Pennsylvania, yes. Oh, we're all, oh, Jamie Honors here. We're all saying Pennsylvania because I'm terrible. Fantastic. Right. Thank you, everybody. How very, very nice to see you here this evening. Are you well? Thank you very much for joining us. We're, uh, we're still in some uh, very interesting times. So I hope at least for the next hour or so, we can be of some entertainment for you. And we can have a little chat and switch off for a little bit. Obviously not for us, because it's our busy time of the week. But I want to now draw your attention. Well, let's say hello to the cameras first of all. Oh, and Kay Murray is here and Brian Levy is here from... Uh, oh. So Kay's here from Russia and Brian's here from Florida. Fantastic. Right, so let's say hello to Overhead Cam if we can. He's just going to do some adjustments, so bear with me. There's my hand. If I put my hand on the top, you're just going to adjust the autofocus. We, we had to do a bit of a rebooting last minute, so he's just going to sort the autofocus out, so bear with me, my friends. And he's just going to adjust the brightness just a little bit. Okay, doing some last minute adjustments. Anyway, <laughs> that is overhead cam. Thank you. So we're going to go to BTZ cam. Okay, so how are you doing? Thank you very much. That's going to zoom into all the lovely action, so that's a good camera to have. And finally, we've got chest cam. Chest cam is go. Hello, chest cam. So for those of you joining us for the first uh, time, chest cam is hopefully going to give you a first person view of all the wonderment of painting and actually creating live, if you like. Okay. So that's chest cam. So now we've introduced the cam. So what I'm going to do now back on corner cam is introduce you to what's going on on the floor now again <laughs> much kudos to my fabulous colleague out in control um, we've used we've created or he's created a, this kind of tent wigwammy kind of roof kind of affair and I've put a two meter square canvas on this two meter square canvas has had a base coat on it for those of you who've not seen that before I normally paint just for fun on the uh, canvas that's un base coated so it doesn't have any paint it's purely off the roll with the primer on it however this week i put a base coat on which we put on a few days ago it's now dried so we're now going to use that tonight the reason i've done that is because there's going to be a volume of paint going on tonight and because of the nature of the technique i don't want it all to fall into the canvas it needs to spread off so it's got some paint on beforehand okay so the principle coming back to what i said just earlier on uh, of us doing a big mm, contraption like this is we want to get the paint to flow from the centre and we want it to form this star shape, okay? So this star shape really, really important, but this is how we're doing it. So <laughs> I, might, I might tell you what's underneath this, if you like, a little bit later on, but for now, let's keep the mystery going and alive, <laughs> okay? And then we'll reveal how we did it a, a, bit, a bit further on. So tonight's star is going to be red, black, white, gold. Classic colour combination. Can't wait to get going. So I think now, uh, before too long, Aid is going to pop the extractor on. I'm going to give a few more shout outs. Mariola Markak is here from Frankfurt. Uh, I can't do a Frankfurt accent, I'm terribly sorry. I won't embarrass myself. Uh, Brian Levy is here. Chess comes is sweet. Richard Wolves. Wills. Uh, cool, Brian. Uh, Michelle Greenfield is here. Hi, Michelle. Uh, glad to see. You all here, Dean of Good Art. Uh, Kevin Campbell is here. Hello, Sir Ed. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. Right, fantastic. So, now the extractor is on. I can't hear a thing. Well, I can actually. I've got my ear defenders on, so we're all good. Right, now we've caught up with everybody. I think we should get going, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's get some gloves on first of all. And uh, we'll get going with the first lot of paint. Now, uh, which camera on, dude? Oh, is he gone? Is he there? Uh, hang on. Let me just check with my colleague outside. See if he's still there. Ah, uh, he's just coming back in. Right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, Derek Austin, PVC pipe. I don't know what that is. Uh, Dina. Oh, Dina's from Texas. Explode 1989 tip. Check Suarez Instagram for some details of what's underneath the canvas. Thank you very much, yes. 
Yeah, Instagram is just at Suarez R. And uh, you, can, uh, you can go and click on that. Um, in fact, yes, yes, uh, you can. Yes, so thank you for that, Explode. Yeah, so uh, you can see what's underneath it. Yes, I did put a picture out on Instagram earlier on. So Instagram forward slash Suarez Art. Uh, and you can see it. So thank you, Explode1989. That's very good. You're not on a commission, are you? No, that's all right. Uh, Tony Harrison's here. Hello, Tony. Right. Come on, Ed. Just, I could chat all night. Stop, Ed. Let's get on with some painting. Right. Okay, yeah. So like I said, we're going to finish off with the gold. So here you can see on chest cam, there's my beautiful gold. It's the stock gold I normally use, which is just the most fabulous thing. Okay, so I think we've got to decide on which colour to go with first. Now this is going to be very interesting because it's been a couple of years since I've done one of these. So I think it's all about to get very, very curious and interesting. Right, so here we go then, ladies and gents. Let's go with... Uh, should we start with the red? Should we start with the red? Let's start with the red. Yay! So what do, what do you think, guys? Should we just do it? Should we, should we just get the red on? What, what do you think? Should we do it? I think so. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Great. But if Shia says let's do it, I think we should do it. Okay, let me explain what I'm going to do then, because... Even though the application method is reasonably straightforward here, we still on chest cam, dude. Thank you. Um, yeah, even though the application method is fairly straightforward, I've got to be careful now on how much I thin or don't thin the paint, because ultimately, if you can think about it, I've got to be starting at the centre, and this is going to be falling outwards. If I don't want it to fall too far, otherwise <laughs> there's going to be nothing left on the canvas, <laughs> which would be mildly embarrassing. So uh, we're about to create a lot of mess, I think. So I'm going straight from the can with the red. My first colours, really, I want to get something on there, get it stable before I start putting the rest on. Right. OK. Right, I think, I think we're almost ready to go. So, <sighs> OK, let's think about this, Ed. Uh, I think every one of these is going to be crucial tonight, so, so let's see, right, okay, let's go, let's do it, yep. Um, let me just have a think a second, uh, talk amongst yourselves, oh, maybe I'll go around this way instead, you might wonder what a difference it makes, but actually this, the way the canvas is sat on here, it's, um, it is square, but not entirely how I want it, so I'm just having to sort of, Ah, uh, I don't know, okay. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Let's just see what happens. Mm, okay. So, oh, look at it. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Right, okay. First lot of paint going on. Happy days. Now, one of the interesting things here, ladies and gents, is that I can manoeuvre the canvas around. So what I mean by that is, is this starts to spread out. Obviously, if I continue to do this, I'm just going to go over the same parts all the time. So by turning the canvas, I'm going to strip, I'm going to change the orientation, if you like, of where these applications go. And that's going to be quite important. OK, so, so far, so good. I mean, we've just got the first one on, so let's just bang some more of that on. Let's not be too precious. So I've never used this method before. I think this is going to be quite interesting to see what happens. So I'm just going to tense this up a little bit. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Right, so come on, Ed, think. Oh, I'm under pressure now, guys. I'm under pressure. <laughs> okay. Oh, Noose Miller's here. Hi, Noose. Maybe you just let me know that you've joined in. Hello. What we're hoping to do over the next few weeks, guys, is get AD with a microphone on as well. And uh, that should be good for a laugh. And then he'll be able to chat to you as well. So uh, please, please all vote now <laughs> if you want that to happen. No, we're going to do it. We're going to do it anyway. It's going to be fun. Okay. Right. 
Right, so, um, yeah, uh, so Zane, were you saying about uh, shame we can't get the, the paints? Well, um, we, we could have a nice talk to our friends at Bailey's Paints, couldn't we, and see if we'll, we can ship some out to you. Now, we're, uh, <clears throat> we're having a chat with them, uh, actually, uh, shortly about uh, what we can do about uh, developing the range a little bit further, so uh, we, could, uh, we could maybe have it come out uh, actually to you so that you, you've got a chance of being able to buy them, so... Please do let us know uh, if you think that having some uh, access to the paints would be something you'd be interested in. And uh, we're looking at particularly doing... I'm, I'm definitely going to have to turn this, I think. No, I'll get some more black on first. Um, uh, now, these are quite a, a toxic paint, but, but... But, 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 ladies and gents, we do have a non-toxic version. Ooh, I hear you all say. So I think it could be really, really interesting to see uh, what would happen if uh, if we uh, if we were able to release the, the non-toxic version out to you. Anyway, have a think about that. Do let us know in the comments. We're just at the uh, early stages of having a chat about that at the moment, but you know they're exactly the same as the paints I use on everything, and they are the the most phenomenal, unbelievable mediums to work in. I, I, well, as you see from each week, I mean they are just like nothing else. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to reply to... No, no, dude, it's fine, I'm all right. It's cool. <clears throat> just going to change the orientation of this just slightly, folks. So that's uh, not quite doing what I thought it would, so let me just change this up a bit. Yeah, so saying, yes, water-based enamels, absolutely. They are, they are a thing. <laughs> they are definitely a thing. Okay, right, let's get, let's get all these moving out a little bit. Okay, we kind of, I know the principle I'm, I'm using here, but we kind of, sort of, I'm working it a little bit. You know what, I'm just having a thought, actually. I've got to work quick. I'm normally a lot more talkative, aren't I? You can tell them to concentrate. Tell them a man, I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> right, let's manoeuvre this around a bit. Let's get some more, get some more of that on. Sure, I tap that down. I'll get to some comments in a minute, guys. I just want to get some of this kind of on moving on. Right, so Tony, you're saying uh, why do we use the toxic versions of the paints? Well, everything has slightly different properties, and uh, believe it or not, I do use the, <laughs> the non toxic versions from time to time. Um, but uh, much of it just comes down to force of habit, really. Uh, that's all it is. But um, I shall be using some uh, some of the water-based ones soon. And uh, hopefully, if everything goes to plan, we're going to be shooting stuff out in the other parts of the studio because I won't need a mask. So it means I can actually talk without sounding like Darth Vader's bronchial cousin, um, which would be quite handy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think we're going to start mixing it up a bit soon, guys. So yeah, Explode 1989, you're absolutely right, that's the whole point. We can do live streams without the mask on, and uh, I think that would be really cool. So, you know, especially as the, uh, the summer gets here and we get some lighter nights, some better weather, that kind of thing, I think it would be amazing. You know, with the sun coming through, all that kind of thing, I just think we could do some absolutely amazing streams, you know, moving things on, really, from where we're currently at. Okay, so, you can see on the overhead now, I'm going to pop some white on. Okay, let's give that a spray. Okay, I'll say, as soon as I've got this really starting to do what I want, guys, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at some of the comments. Now, as far as finished sizes go, I'm going to, I'm going to kneel down here, actually, so you can see on chest cam. And just see that white starting to develop up there, look, which is what I want. I want some of this to start to blend together because this is how, gonna ha how we're going to form some of the star shapes, you see. Um, so, yeah, as uh, what was I saying? I can't even remember. <laughs> no, no idea. It's my 10 second memory just gone. Oh well. 
Uh, yeah, I'll do some of the comments in a minute. He's just trying to remind me of what on earth I was talking about. <laughs> oh dear. Right, anyway, anyway, that notwithstanding. So that's fine. That's pretty okay so far. Now, I'm just going to zoom in the overhead. So what I'm doing now, I'm just giving this a spray with a mineral thinners. And it's a staple of the work here. It's just trying to get the paint to flow, get it to move into places that I want to move it to. I'm not being too precious about this at the moment. Uh, where it really sort of starts to matter is as we start to finish. Uh, but we're not there yet. Right, so, happy days. Now, I saved a drop of cream from last week. Uh, so I'm going to thin some of the cream down because I just want to get... starting to introduce a little bit of warmth into the proceedings. I want to get the cream on. Uh, we'll have a little look at your comments. It's really been really warm here today and... Uh, even though I've got the extractor on, which normally brings the temperature down a couple of degrees. It's still um, pretty warm and pretty oppressive in here at the moment. So if I'm uh, overtly breathing more heavily than I normally do, I apologise. But um, obviously breathing is quite important. Right, let's swizzle this round again. That's not too bad so far. We're going to have quite a longevity on the paint, to be honest, because I think that's the second or the third time now that I've given it a spray. So uh, I think we're going to have plenty of time for it to form itself. So let's just try and get that. Uh, Denise, yes, yeah, Spider-Man. <laughs> I suppose, actually, uh, I'll, I'll tell you something. It's probably occurred into Aidy's head now, actually. We, we had, did one um, a good five or six years ago now, and uh, we always referred to it as Spidey. <laughs> uh, there's Aidy laughing in my ears because he'll remember that one. And it did just look like a big spider's web. It was, uh, it was pretty cool, actually. Right. <sighs> Yeah, Ian's good comment for, you, for me, and thank you about seeing the colours starting to leach through all the other colours. Yeah, they will. As we move around now, <laughs> one of the beauties of this technique, Ian is spot on, is... Uh, which camera are you on, dude? Let's go, let's go overhead. So as you can see now, as, as I then, as the paint goes on and we turn again, I then hit the high point, so of course where we have the ridges, the paint falls away with gravity. So with each rotation, we're going to get the, the, this kind of you know, blending, which is how, how the painting gets formed. It's only really at the last moment when we form the star, but in order for the star to be shown off in all its glory, <laughs> I've got to create the, underli the underpinnings first. So hopefully we will get to that point before too long. I think we've had, what, a 90 degree rotation so far. I think that's not too bad. I'm not going to go completely 90 at the moment. Just got to pinch my creases out, that's all. Try and keep this relatively central. So let's just pull it this way a little bit because I've just come off centre just marginally. There we go, that's better. So that was a wrinkle I definitely don't want. Okay. Not bad, so I'm going to go back in with the red, keeping this to some quite basic colours. I don't really want to go too mad, although I can imagine what this would look like with a multitude of colours on. Uh, James McCormack is here. Hello, James. Good evening to you, sir. Right, in we go with the red. Nice. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. Right, let's get my breath back. Right, I'm going to give that a little spray all the way around. Now that needs to develop just slightly and also on these edges. So that's fine. Okay, let's just have a little stop point there. So, uh, James McCormack is, uh, thank you very much, Venetian Cut Studio. Even the studio floor is beautiful, thank you. Um, I am Megan Michael, you're late. Detention time, yes, naughty. Uh, Reef Gaming is here, good evening, how are you doing? Nice to see you here, the perfectionist is here, thank you very much indeed. Uh, funny Fox, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, now remember, Guys and girls, if you are new here, if this is your first time, please do give us a subscribe. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it so far, if you're finding this entertaining. 
remember the uh, there is a whole host of stuff on social media and also the YouTube channel which you're on at the moment so in order for you to not miss a thing and trust me there are some seriously cool things coming up like you, you can't believe I mean um, we've done a couple of educational ones just recently where I didn't have a mask on so if you go into the channel videos you'll see that and uh, we did it with acrylic paints just to try and get people moving if you've never done this kind of thing before you like what we're doing here you fancy having a go we've made everything nice and straightforward giving you some really easy techniques to work with a very self-explanatory video shot in beautiful high definition with bags of lovely colors so simple to do go check them out I recommend it to your friends while we're all in a bit of a you know situation at home go and grab some household sponges and some scrapers and some bits of cardboard and have some fun with paint i show you exactly how to do it guys it's brilliant i'm sure you'll really enjoy it okay let's have a little look with chess cam see where we are before we do another rotation so we've got a real nice mix of the red and black here now what's really cool about this technique is that obviously at some point the more we keep doing this the more the colors are going to blend together and these colors are just going to go into a really dusky muddy pink if we're not careful but so far this is looking really good so i'm really 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 happy with that okay so on the overhead that's probably looking really cool right so rotation again Let's see where we're at so we're going to keep going i'm going to go past past the square now just a little, little bit no i'm not let's go back to the square and i'm going to introduce a couple of extra folds here if i can because I want to see now what happens. I mean, I'm going to come to these ridges shortly, but I obviously do need to keep a few ridges going. So I'm going to accentuate the ridges here just a little bit, still maintaining my center point. And then I can now see in the light where some of this is not moving. So let's give that a little bit of a, a little bit of a tease. I want to give the I want to give the drips plenty of opportunity to move. Darn it, I've used all my thinners. Right, hang on then. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, uh, carefully, it doesn't pop on me. Right, we'll give all that red a chance to sort itself out because now we're going to calm that down. We're going to go next in with the white. And really these guys are, the, the, these are just built up of multiple color applications and multiple layers. The, uh, the critical thing at this point is just getting the paint volumes really sort of fairly even there. I can't see it from the overhead without looking at the uh, screen over there. But I can already tell that I'm quite light on some of the red in some places. So we've not by any means had the last of all the applications yet. So I just need to make sure that I'm going to keep some of this liquid where it goes particularly uh, dry I've got to make sure that I keep that as loose as I possibly can okay that's fine so red is fine so far so I'm gonna go back in with the white now none of this I'm thinning at source I'm only thinning, thinning on the canvas so let's see what happens now so I'm quite quite anxious now to calm some of this down don't worry Zane the gold is coming I kid you not Aaron Kopeck, hello, um, good evening, thanks for joining us. Glad you're enjoying it. Uh, thank you, James, for your feedback. I'm going to go down the ridges here, actually, a little bit. Uh, David Maslin, that's a really good point. When do I give it a title? Um, I can arrive at the most bizarrest of, of places, really, the titles for them, but uh, normally at the point when I'm sat on my computer for hours on end trying to decipher what on earth I should be calling it. Um, <laughs> Some of them are titled straight away, but more often than not, it has to be something that's quite considered. Okay, right, so, okay, that's not so bad so far. I'm gonna let that run down just a little bit, and I'm gonna turn it again, actually, before it reach, goes down any further. So, Rena says, hi, hello, how are you doing? Nice of you to join us this evening. Hope you are well. So Rasmus says it looks like roadkill. Thanks very much for that. I'm sure there's a compliment in there just waiting to get out. Uh, although I can't find it at the moment. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to continue my turn, but I'm going to slightly adjust the way I'm turning now because I'm just going to do this with some pinches because it's the ridges now that I'm really quite, quite concerned about. Not in a bad way, but I want to make sure 
that you get the distribution of paint over the ridges, particularly this one. So I'm going to bring this one round. I'm not sure now I'm still hitting my centre point because I don't really want to go too far off with that. So now I'm building up quite a quite a volume of paint. Ah, see now look what I've done here. I've, 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 I've got my blank ridge here. So I've got a blank ridge which is fine up to a point. So I've got to be so so careful now that I get this in the right place. Now I can just see a few. We'll go back. I'm just going to see a few ripples there that I don't want. So let's get those moving. Okay, and then there's one there that I want to move as well. That's fine. So, okay. Let's have a look. So it might be quiet a little bit here. Right, can we see on the uh, on the chest cam what's going on here? How nice is that? Very nice if we can preserve that. Yeah, so I think a point I was going to make earlier on was uh, by cutting it at 200 centimetres. In actual fact, it's probably only going to have a finish size of about 150 or 160 because I'm going to get some natural pooling on these sides. But I'm probably going to lose this amount uh, kind of either side. It's a good 20 centimetres coming off either side. you probably see that. That's going to be lost. So where I have my, my static pools at the bottom, that's where ultimately I'm going to lose a lot of the paint. But there are ways around that, but I won't be able to do that really until the end. So I'm not going to worry too much about that at the moment. So now I'm more concerned about what's happening with my ridges. All right, so it doesn't matter if it folds into itself here, but I want to get my ridges kind of dealt with if I can. So let's just figure that out. Uh, I'll come back to my centre points in a moment. This is getting very, very messy now. <laughs> I have to be careful I don't slip, otherwise you're going to um, have a laugh at my expense. Right. <sighs> uh, that's a good one, Funny Fox. That's how, when you dance flamenco, that's how your skirt looked. <laughs> Pure. Right, okay, so I think we might almost be about ready to start with the gold. What do we think, guys? Should we? <laughs> do it! Just do it! Yesterday is set tomorrow, so just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Okay, right, so... I just wanted to break a little bit of that white up. And uh, as you may be able to see down here, um, this this black, I need to do something with the black. So let's give that a ridge. To, uh, I want it basically um, split with that red. So I need that red to go down, which is fine. That's developing really nicely. It needs to flow more down here. So let's get that sprayed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last time I did this, it wasn't this difficult. This seems to be a hell of a lot more difficult. Okay, but not to worry. Look, hey, this is this is just for fun. He said, <laughs> "Fun? You call this fun?" Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's get that moving all the way down. I got quite a bit of canvas here that's got nothing on it, but it'll all sort itself out when we go back to the square. I promise. Right, let's get that red moving out of the centre. It's going to pave pave the way for the uh, for the gold to come soon, which is. You know, which is the most important part of the painting, so patience is required. I'm not very good at patience, I don't have any. Oh dear, never mind. It's all going in the right direction, folks. It's all going in the right direction, okay. Right, let's just take a moment while that develops. Okay, uh, Marion Moore is here. Gold is good, yes. Michael Squire, pour on the gold. We should do that, Michael Noose Miller. Flamenco would be a great title, yes, I agree, it would. Uh, Code Bespoke. Oh, I just missed that. <laughs> does look a bit like Vesuvius, isn't it? Painting is occasionally stressful from the retail. It's always stressful. Uh, Aaron Kopek is here. Hello. Uh, what else have we got going on? Ian, cream before the gold. Katie, Ed, you all need a, we all need a star in our life right now, and it's you. Oh, Katie, that's really kind of you. Thank you so much. It doesn't feel like that, but hey. Well, take that. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Right, okay. Let's give another glove change. Oh, I keep telling myself I don't have a headache. I don't have a headache. 
<sighs> right, let's get the glass, glasses, let's get the gloves on. As my hands perspire, it becomes increasingly more difficult to get these to fit properly. Oh, it's very, very warm in here. Good Lord. Okay, right, so I'm reasonably happy so far. Uh, the shapes around the edges are looking really, really nice. So I think I'm going to return this now back to a square. And the crucial thing with the gold, I have to be sure that the gold really is only going to go into one place. I don't want the gold to start moving around to multiple places. So I've got to pick my gold point now as to where I'm actually going to produce the gold. So let's get this moved again. Uh, <clears throat> my ridges are all, is, all looking nice now, so I'm happy with that. But we're just going to move it um, a small amount of time and see how we get on from there. How are we all doing, everybody? We all all right? We are uh, enjoying it so far, hopefully. Thank you, Shannon. Oh, Shannon, that's really kind of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, do, replication is always difficult. I do get clients uh, who often want to have something replicated, and uh, <laughs> it's always difficult. I think that's on the plus side. It's one of the nice things about original art. I mean, the clue is in the word, really, isn't it? Uh, but anyway. Oh, so Funny Fox is requesting a dance. Oh, oh Lord. I'll have to ask Aidy. What do you think, mate? Should we, should we get it in place and should we, do a, should we do a little dance? Right, okay. Let's just get this sorted out. So before we do that, I'm going to check with Aidy about positioning. Okay, so I need to come back this way. He's going to help guide me a little bit. Yeah, but it's a slightly off center, I think. Yeah. Hang on then. This one and back. Okay. Around the edges, that's actually not too bad. Right, bear with us, guys. I'll do my dance, I promise. <sighs> this is getting quite tricky now. <sighs> Must be cardio done for the day, anyway. Right, let's get that down there. That's important. That's okay, I can live with that. This is going to have to come this way. I think I'm slightly off with the red, to be honest. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Not to worry. Off slightly with the red. Okay, so decision time. Do I make the central or do I go with the red? I'll leave it there, I think. Okay, I think we can work with that. Right. Let me just ask, hey, what do you think, mate? Yeah, yeah, I, th I think so, mate. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll cover that with the gold. Okay. <sighs> right, is it dance time? Is it? Keep key me in, my friend. Yeah. Time. Oh, thank God for that. Are you not entertained? Right. Okay. Oh. So, we are now going to go in with our gold. This is the party piece. Yay! Oh, yes. Come on, to me. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Happy days. Right. Should we get it on? I think so. Right, let's do this. Here we go. It's about 50 quid so far, that. We'll do a few down here. Right, okay, let's see what happens to that now. I think I'm going to have to give that a spray. 
Now I've done, I think I'm gonna have to, might have to join that big splodge up, but let's see how we get on, all right? Let's, let's get this thinned down and see, see what happens. But there is a slight chemical difference in how this is made to how the others are made. And that has some really nice effects. Now, this is the one bit I have to be so careful on because this can go into uh, into uh, disaster very quickly. But yeah, there we go. Now we've got our volcano, haven't we? Now that's that's getting quite dramatic. That's nice. Right, so I need to stretch these out and get this moving a little bit. There we go. Or oh, can we see that on the uh, chest cam, buddy? coming off the edge nice very nice yeah that, that's that's doing it now let's do the same round here probably come off the uh, chest cam there we go that's all over my fingers now <laughs> nice that's a lot of paint on the floor folks okay that's good so now I've got my lines ready now let's just see if we can help define them just a little bit So on the all cameras now, you can probably see that. Oh, there's some such some nice colours coming out here now. That is, I wish you could see this as I'm seeing it anyway. Stunning. <sighs> the test cam probably looks a little bit orange, but you know we're at the behest of uh, the quality of the tech at the moment with that. But let's tease these off a little bit onto the edges. Stunning. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. That's very kind of you. We'll take that. Okay. So, let me just have a proper look at that before I move any more. Right, I'm going to check the laptop and see what that looks like on the overhead in just a second. Uh, just give me a second. Yep, got it now, buddy. Yeah, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Little drop of thinners there. That side is fine. Not really doing. I've got to be so careful I don't fall over now. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Let's have a look at this one here. Now, can you see that on the floor? <laughs> this is the bit I like. Look at that. This is great. So there's a lot of paint coming off this now, guys. But I mean, it's, it's almost like we, we want what's left rather than what, what, what goes on it. It is literally like liquid gold just pooling on the floor. Look at that. Oh, good stare at that all night. Now, interestingly, what, are we still on PTZ, mate? Can you see what happens on my on my hands? Look, so we're at this very critical point now of it becoming a, a ready, pinky, brown, sludgy, horrible mess. So I'm at a point now where I have to seriously consider if this is done, and I think it is. If I start to mess about with any more paint, then I'm just going to get this. That would be a shame. There are a few places where I've started to develop some pink areas. And I've got to be so careful now, so I'm... I'm at a point now where I think I might stop. Um, okay. <clears throat> might. I might just pop a little bit of darkness down in one or two of the corners. So this is where I'm going to just get some a very small amount on the ridges and then give them the spray. So let's get myself a cup. Ooh. So Shannon Collins says scoop and flick scoop and flick. That sounds like a, somebody's name, a bad stage name for somebody. Um, right, okay, let's, let's think about this. I'm just gonna go on the ridge here and I'm gonna thin that so that it spreads, spreads out just a little bit. So rather than apply down the center, I'm just gonna make this move either way now. Now this is also gonna look a little bit sort of sullen. So this will help just uh, just move it out a little bit and add some drama to this corner, which is a corner that just wasn't really doing anything. So hopefully that should start to stretch out a little bit now. Um, get some interesting pools developing. 
which is good. That's nice. So yeah, the reeds are very good question. Yes, I will be flattening out to stop the spread. Now, as you can see behind me, I've got a big empty space where normally canvas lives, but it's empty for a reason. Uh, and that's because uh, this is where it's gonna go when I pull it off. So I am gonna pull it off for you very shortly. I've just got to be in a position where I'm absolutely happy that I can't really affect it any more than how it is, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna give it one last tension up. I'm not gonna move it any further from where it's at now, but I know that if I leave all these pulls of paint on around the edges, they might have a tendency to fall back in on themselves. So <clears throat> what I'm really, really um, conscious of now is getting rid of some of this excess paint that's starting to pool. So we're okay here down on the floor, that's fine. Sorry to put my bump bottom in the air. Um, just make sure that I'm getting rid of as much excess as I can before this comes off because I think the real beauty of this and the bit that you're going to hopefully go whoa <laughs> is, is when I physically get it off here and stick it on the floor for you to see. It's this corner, it's this bit I'm worried about. i just got to get rid of this, there's just too much paint on it so yeah certain parts of this are quite stressful guys but I think we're getting there. So I think we're looking possibly here. I might do the same again with that black, just to even it out. Yeah, so let's just grab that anyway. Let's have a look on the overhead. Looking good so far though. Pretty pleased with that. Let's get ourselves a little bit more black. Right, I can see it now. Yeah, so I think our bottom right hand corner uh, needs something else as well. Uh, Zane wants to ask what the structure is that AD built. Uh, you can see it on my Instagram account, but I'll show you in a minute when I pull it off anyway. Um, okay, uh, Timothy Runkle, thank you. Uh, oh, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Uh, Funny Fox, uh, oh, she's got to go. Bye, Funny Fox. Thank you, thank you for joining us. Uh, Big Worm, Willy Wonka style. Yeah, right, so let's do the same again. I'm pretty pleased with how the black turned out on that ridge. So I'm going to try the same again here. There we go, just to give ourselves a little bit of evening out, and that's going to get a spray as well. <sighs> oh, it's hard work, this. It's like work, actually working for a living. It's me. Shocking. Right, okay, so I'm giving that a spray as well, which is fine. In fact, I missed the ridge, didn't I? Let's get that into there so I can get some even on both sides. Let's just start spreading out now, which is great. <sighs> Okay, gloves disintegrating. Bear with me while that develops, folks. Let me just get some more gloves on. Hope we're, uh, hope we're enjoying this. A bit different tonight. When I've got it off and laid flat, I'll show you what lies underneath. But obviously, do give us a like if you're on Instagram and also Twitter, uh, Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, we're even on TikTok. So we're literally trying to spread this everywhere we possibly can. And don't forget to. Uh, Give us a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I know we keep on about it, but it's really important because I know what we've got coming up and it just helps us out enormously, guys. So thank you so much for your continued support. Right. Yeah, so uh, Ian, uh, yeah, very good point about repositioning with bungees and what have you. Yeah, I mean, there's... Uh, <laughs> We have actually, well, AD's thought about that. Yeah, I mean, we, we thought about a lot of things this week. It's just a question of just um, some of the times, just having the time to be able to, to go ahead and do it. I mean, I know with with this technique, it's great because there are, you know, there are a number of paintings to be had out of this, which is great. So we'll keep the tech that we've got and the kit, but, um, uh, excuse me, just trying to get my gloves on. <laughs> but um, we do need the creases, obviously, in this, and I need the creases to be, I need to be able to reposition where where I position the creases, if that makes any sense. Right, guys, I think I think I think we're ready. Should we uh, should we pull it off and uh, see what we got? This should be good for a laugh. Um, no, dude, I'm alright. Thanks. I'm literally, just going to drag it off. Right, okay. So uh, I think, dude, if you want to go on the PTZ because uh, we might get, give the better view here, or PTZ and and chest maybe, if we've got that as a combo. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to go for this now, folks. I'm going to see if I can get this off here. 
this should be good for a laugh. Okay, and my gloves don't fit and it's really quite annoying. Should we, should we give it a go? Should we just do it? Should we just get it off and stop thinking about it? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! <sighs> okay. There's no easy way to tackle this, is there? Right, and man up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, right, okay, we've got ourselves, we've got ourselves a star, okay, nice, let's see if Ada can zoom in on that a little bit, it's a bit difficult to get the, uh, to get the zoom, so I need to manoeuvre the, oh, 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 easy tiger, I need to get this, that's very, very slippy there. Let's just get this sorted out. Now, a couple of little things I think I need to do here if I can. Let's just get rid of some of these. These will find a bit of a level, which is fine. It'll sort itself out. Let's see if I can preserve some of the edges. Which camera on, buddy? Okay, that's fine. So all I'm doing now is I'm just going to flatten some of these out. Uh, they'll move a little bit, not a lot. Let's just see if we can maintain some of the star qualities okay that's fine it's just really just stop some of this from pulling too much Whew. right okay that might need a bit of work got a pulling here so let's see if i can do something with that let's just put it out so i can see yeah the, the pink's starting to really come out now so i'm gonna be uber careful not to destroy it which is perfectly possible probably happen in a heartbeat if i uh, if i do too much Oh, thanks everyone, that's really kind. I know there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of love coming through, so thank you, that's really kind of you. I've not done this, I haven't done this for about five, six years? <laughs> maybe, maybe even longer than that, I don't know. Um, okay, so let's just finish that off. So I think in some of the places I'm a little bit light now. <clears throat> I'm not too worried about that, and actually the ridges look quite good, I'm tempted. Very tempting actually just to bring the ridges back in. I wonder if I could do that. So I'm really trying to think off up on spec now. <laughs> Haven't planned this. So let's see which camera we're on, dude. Right, I wonder if I could put a couple of big ridges in this. That could be really quite exciting. Right, so can I do the same here? Pretty much talking to myself. Um, actually, I could put a tube underneath it, couldn't I? There we go. Let's see if we can get that underneath, shall we? Right, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we, here we go. One, two. Uh, see how close to the centre I can get it. Oh, yeah. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. Obviously, I can't get one the other way. Well, I suppose I could, but... Yeah, let's just give that a go. Right. Okay. That's not bad. That um, that keeps some of that flow going a little bit anyway. Um, yeah, I quite like that. Well, that's not too far away from what we put in the picture anyway, is it, folks? Right, so do we want to see, while that's developing, do we want to see what's underneath the uh, tarpaulin, shall we? <laughs> okay, let's have a look, shall we? Uh, have you all guessed? Are you ready? Here we go. There we go. <laughs> right, so what we've got there folks, we have got uh, the top of a gazebo which we have slightly re-engineered um, because we needed to make it shorter than the three metre, oh god I'm going to go again. 
than the three meters that it was but yeah so there it is so that's what we were building is essentially just this little frame uh, to let to give us the, the sort of four four edges and four corners so um yeah that's it which i think is pretty cool <laughs> yeah the reader it does look like a mini art fair tent doesn't it <clears throat> okay cool right so i think now just before we finish off folks is i'm going to take that that's that's really nice actually i'm glad i put the pipe in so i'm going to turn the pipe the other way so it just gives a chance for the other section to have four or five minutes on its own oh where's the end can't find my end shocking right let's pop this bad boy up the other side and we'll have a look at some of your wonderful comments you're so kind to us this evening folks thank you so much i really do appreciate it i mean seriously from um, from both of us we really do okay right so reach going the other way actually this really nice is just starting to uh to fit uh to stop to stop its uh movement now which is good which means it's stabilizing okay so on chest cam there we go we can see that so as it stabilizes now and finishes it's sort of sorting itself out um it should uh should mean that when it's perfectly flat it doesn't move too much there's some really nice things coming in what could be really interesting is when it's stretched around the frame just to hang it as a diamond which is how i'm looking at it now i think that's going to be pretty spectacular so yes this is definitely one that we're going to have to uh, uh keep you uh, posted with certainly as we as it dries and we uh, were able to get it structured out its frame um okay so we'll just give that a couple of minutes let's go back to the comments and have a little look i'm trying desperately not to fall over here like like an amateur right uh, thank you timothy that's very kind of you brian levy bravo um artfish 42 that ad is so talented as well yes he is um okay tanya loves the color Megan michael agreed great stream guys it came out great oh thanks oliver are you still watching oh you are a sucker for punishment thank you so much ollie that's really kind of you new smiller uh black and white sections are sublime thank you so much ian reckons it's uh, painting in 3d woohoo derek austin gives us a clap Thank you uh, so much uh, bringing us joint dark times, says Katie, thank you. Um, oh yeah, Tony Harrison reckons we should fold it in half and it will be spectacular. We actually have done that in the previous ones, but yeah, we'll definitely have a go with that at some point. Uh, thanks Zane, really appreciate it. Uh, Big Worm says we've got an imagination. Well, uh, we, we do try. <laughs> uh, perfect for Easter week. Bob Zemmons enjoyed it. Gaz Rogers has learned a lot and well presented. Thank you, uh, thank you Gaz, that's really, uh, really kind of you. Uh, Nelson uh, says it's beautiful. That's really good of you. Thank you so much. Oh, this is this has been good. This has been really good. Thank you guys. Right, so I think um, I think we're probably done. I'm just going to pull that out and we'll give it one last look just to make sure I'm happy with it. So on chest cam now. Let me tilt that up a little bit, guys. There we go. Let's pull that. See how high tech it gets. A, a cardboard tube. Hmm. Amazing. Amazing what you can do with that. You should see on the videos what I'm doing with household sponges. Honestly, keep it clean, keep it clean. Right, okay, let us fold out the ridge. And there we are, we should now be able to see it in its glory. Happy days, very pleased with that. Oh, so we'll try and zoom now in on the corner cam. I think then, yes, taking this as it's, you know, when are you, Try and imagine that uh, 20 centimetres all the way around taken off. And that's going to look pretty stunning. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is our star creation week. How nice is that? Woo, let's just have a quick look on the chest cam. Nice. Very, very pleased with that. Okay, ladies and gents, thank you so much. Shannon uh, lives for the live streams. Thank you, Shannon. That's very kind. Uh, Bob's and wants to see the detail. Thank you, Bob Zen. Um, we will definitely try and do our best to be here every Wednesday for you. Um, yeah, Zane, definitely water-based enamels. We're going to have a go soon. Remember, oh, um, Daisy Longmire, hello again. <laughs> Remember, guys and girls, <clears throat> um, yes, we are going to do this every week until we're actually, you know, someone puts us in chains. We're going to be doing this every week for you. So every Wednesday, please tell your friends, share whatever you can across the internet because the more people that get, get to see it, I think the better. And uh, thanks for your feedback tonight. It's been really kind of you. We've tried a new technique. 
hopefully it's worked out. Next week or two, we'll have that stretch around the frame. We'll show you what it looks like. Um, what can I say, ladies and gents? Thank you so, so much for watching again and for giving us your time. We are so grateful. We've got a billion things that we're doing at the moment. Merchandise, that's t-shirts, caps, mugs. Oh my Lord, we're developing that. The paints we've talked about tonight for the first time. How exciting is that going to be? We could be selling that as well in water-based so you can do your own stuff. I think that could just be amazing as well. So there's a billion things we're trying to all get done, but most importantly, we can't do it without your help and support. So thank you, sincerely. I know we keep going on about it, but you guys are the best. And we really appreciate every comment, every minute that you watch, and every bit of interaction that you have, because without you, it just doesn't work. So thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. It's very, very important. <laughs> Fantastic. So thank you so much for joining us this evening. We'll wrap it up now. Wherever you are and wherever you live, whatever continent or nation you are in, please be safe. Please be well. Thank you so much for your time. And on behalf of Adi and myself, we very much look forward to seeing you next week when we're going to do something equally as mad, crazy, entertaining, and hopefully just a little bit educational. So from Suarez HQ, my wonderful friends, have a very good evening. And thank you so much for watching. And good night.